Yo, what's going on? Oh, <clears throat> my throat. What's going on, 60 Simulator Squad? We are back at it again, doing the best of series. And as you can tell, I am RTO because I consider RTO. And I know this one's going to get a lot of hate over the Ymir mains in chat. Or, you know, just in general, a lot of people don't love... Uh, they don't love RTO over Ymir or like Kuzenbo or something. And I do think those gods are super good. Don't get me wrong. But RTO is a little bit built different. And the reason I say that. The reason I say that is because. Uh, <clears throat> being a stance switcher gives you so much access to different abilities, obviously. And the built-in healing makes you super, super susceptible to just getting ahead early. Like, this is crazy. Being able to dash through a Poseidon early game. Make sure I'm getting that Warrior's Axe proc. And uh, actually out-clearing a Poseidon. Like, it's just... When you're a stance switcher, you have so much damage associated with just the character that you are. Because, I mean, you can, right? I want to make sure I'm hitting him, obviously. And dashing through him if I can. To group up the minions. Oh, that meditation is going to get me killed. Oh, that was a close call. That was a very close call. I do have my warrior's axe. So I'm not as fragile as it seems. Perfect. He might die to archers. No. All right. He lives. However, does give me a pretty much free reign of this buff. Because if he walks over here, my warrior's axe will give him a swift kick in the ass and give me first blood. Now, here are a couple of tips that I think you should know when playing Arceo. And this all being said, keep in mind, I am not the best Arceo player in the world. I don't play her often. I don't even have her diamond, actually. But... Uh, I have played the most dual matches out of anyone in the world, and that's actually just a fact, which is kind of disgusting, but it is true. And, um, <clears throat> from my ridiculous amount of experience, RTO is just the best all around. Like I can box, I can farm and I can beat your ass type guardian because especially getting into late game. Getting into late game is when it gets crazy. Like, she does so much damage. And, um... <clears throat> yeah. But after that, about why I think RDO is the best guardian, now we get into what abilities to level and why are you leveling them. I personally level the three because the three is the best poke. Uh, the three in the human form will do upwards of two to three hundred damage if you land the whole thing, which you should be able to because it's a hefty slow on it. And, um... Not to mention, each tick will heal you. So it's very, very good. Especially when you're building Warrior's Axe like I did this game. Very, very good. Not to mention, the dash in the bear form is just a great... Uh, it's a great damage dealer. Like, look at this. Well, okay, never mind. He hit me in the face, but... It's a great damage dealer. And uh, so, I personally, I max my three, and then I max my one. I don't think there's a bad way to play Arceo um, in terms of leveling abilities. You either max the one, or you max the three. Obviously, don't max your two and your, your ult first. That would be dumb, but um, I think it's completely viable to either max the three or the one. If you have Boomba's Hammer, which is, uh, I guess we're getting into builds now. I kind of jumped the gun here a little bit, but if you have Boomba's Hammer... I want him to crack in me here. One second, guys. I'm just in the middle of a fight. Obviously, I mean, you guys can see. That one heal is gnarly. Especially with the uh, the Warriors Axe helping me out there a little bit. I want to bait him in and hit him with the three. This is going to root. And will also kill. Perfect. Perfect. I messed up my beads there a little bit. My reaction time was a little bit slow, but... That's not on the god. That's just on me and my very large fingers. 
All right, let's grab a divine here. All right. Now that the fight's over, I can I can focus again. Like I was saying, I think you can max either the one or the three, depending on your build. Going into builds now. If you go Warrior's Axe like I did in this game, you max the three. A hundred percent of the time you max the three because the three, like I said before, is your ranged poke. And that ranged poke is going to be proccing your Warrior's Axe. If, um, if you go Boomba's Hammer, which again, completely viable and honestly not even bad. If you go Boomba's Hammer, then you have the option to max your one. Now, like I said before, again, uh, I think either option is very good. I think you can either go the Boomba's Hammer route or the Warrior's Axe route. They're, they're both good. I, I, against Poseidon, I like Warrior's Axe just a little bit more because you're going to be able to use that three more often because he's going to try and he's going to be trying to keep you at range. And, you know, if you build for close range with, you know, Boomba's Hammer and going red buff and stuff like that, if you build like that and maxing your one, then uh, Poseidon's just going to crack in your ass and it's going to hurt. I don't know where he went. Whatever. Don't care. What's back? I want to go divine here. I started um Voidstone. Voidstone next patch is gonna be much better. It's gonna be 15% pen with a little bit more power on it. So it'll be a lot better. But it's still it's still not bad right now. He does have red buff. So keep in mind if he does decide that he wants to explode me he probably could i don't have too much uh too much defense right now just void zone really holding me over all right one second let's dash him all right that was really really good really 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 good damage there over half his hp and we don't even have Divine yet. And he has Bancrofts. He has Bancrofts and Meditation and an HP Chalice. Which, by the way, is the reason I'm going Divine. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, so basically the builds are Warrior's Axe. And then you start with a defensive item. In this case. And then if they build Lifesteal, then you go Anti-Heal. Pretty... Uh, it's pretty much build yourself. Like, you don't really need to... Uh, you don't really need to think about it. You just kind of mirror what they're doing. Oh, my one did not hit him, and it definitely should have. I was kind of relying on that heal. He might crack in here. Keep in mind. Keep in mind that Kraken would hurt. Let's see. I'm healing a ton. Okay, there's his meditation. I do have Divine on him, so I'm not too scared of that. Uh, he wants red buff, which is why he used his, his med there. And he might die here. There we go using my beads i was able to uh not get cc'd by the kraken and get the kill and that's another thing i would say i i know people make fun of me all the time every time i say this but i'm gonna keep saying it because it's the truth beads against poseidon is better than aegis i don't care how much you make fun of me it's just the truth it's just it's just how it is man and that's an exact reason why you know if you build a little bit a little bit of defense early that Poseidon is not going to get through your defense. And then you can just absolutely go ham on him. Absolutely go ham on him. I want some more power here. I want to go um, into a poly eventually. I probably should have just bought tier 2 there. But whatever. Not too big of a... Big of a deal. He will definitely be getting my blue buff. Or he won't be. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> but yeah, so the build, I mean, the build basically, it builds itself. You don't really need to think too much about it. It's just defense, damage. If you're taking a little bit too much damage, build a little bit more defense. You know, it's, it's, RTO or just Guardians in general are kind of the most lenient on build damage until you need defense. Like that's pretty much all you need to know about Guardians in general. 
All right. You are taking all of the dick. Look at that burst damage, man. 80% of his max HP. Just like that. And he knows it, man. He knows it. He knows he can't mess with me. He might, get, he might have cracking up, actually. Which could do some numbies to me. But maybe I will. I'll, I'll put a little bit of respect on his name. I would also like a Chronos Pendant. I'd actually really love a Chronos Pendant here. Maybe I go Genji's Chronos Pendant next items. One more defense and one more damage. I would also like a Bulwark, because this Warrior's X is going to heal based on percentage HP. Oh no, it's their ba it's their HP. It's based on their percentage HP, not mine. So I guess my build doesn't matter too much or with that. Alright. Don't mind me, just casually using my 3 for over 300 damage. Like I said, it's very good. This poly is going to be amazing in this matchup because the fact that I have six abilities. The alt doesn't count. You can't actually, like, uh, switching stances doesn't proc poly, so, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to fight here. However, he seems to be playing very, 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 very defensive. I can't really do anything, which is okay. It happens. Time to rid you of that magic. Okay, good damage. Dude, my damage output is actually nuts. I can maybe blink on him and kill here. Oh, uh, I thought he threed the wave. <clears throat> I thought he threed the wave and he did not. I guess I, maybe I went a little bit. I think I went aggressive a little bit too early there is the issue. Because I could have and maybe should have waited until I saw his three. I just really didn't think that his three would. Like, I didn't. When I play Poseidon, I always throw my three down on the wave first. Before I auto attack it or use my one or anything, I always throw my three down. So I just assumed other people did the same thing. And it got me killed. Sometimes you can't assume people do the best play. Most times you should assume it though. <laughs> just, just so we're clear, you should assume it. <laughs> but I didn't in that case and it got me killed. He's warding? He bought wards? What an actual weirdo. Okay, this guy's just psychopathic. I do actually still win the fight. As crazy as that is. This red buff come up here. Backing. Uh, I'll clear the way first. I can't get Genji's until one more wave. But if I wait, I won't be able to be here for red. I won't be able to be here for red, period. Damage output is kind of crazy. Um, nice.
Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. He did get the red buff, but I knew that if I just followed him, I would be able to get the kill. Oh, he did my blue first. I forgot. I'll just back then. Since he did my blue first, I'll just back. How much is Chronos been in? Oh, that's expensive. Okay. Keep the claws and teeth away. <clears throat> So I have only 10% cooldown right now. Chronos will give me up to 30% and then a 500 pot will give me to 40. And you definitely need 40% cooldown. You need max cooldown on Arceo. I mean, really with any character that has stance switches, cooldown is very, very good. Because you're you're cooling down two, uh, two abilities for the price of one. All right, good clear. Probably just doing that. I don't care too much. Do this. Throw these down. Some lifesteal wouldn't be horrible, but I, I mean, I have poly, right? So that's enough. Mm. I don't know if it's 2,100 gold. This is kind of the point that I don't like. When playing RTO is when you don't have your cooldown online, your starter item's not upgraded yet. Oh god, I'm stuck. I got stuck behind the minions there. Oh, he has a lot of lifesteal, actually. I might should go toxically this game, believe it or not. Okay, that's just dumb. I don't know why you would do that. Alright, very, very good. Fight for me there. Oh, I walked into that. I can kill him here, though. With Blink. I guess he knows it. The good thing for me is my three heals me for a lot. Not to mention Polly. Okay. I blinked on him and he instantly used both relics. That's really, really good for me. All right, perfect. He thought he could get the kill, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. RTO needs to not be... Uh... You, you can't look down on RTO. He just does too much damage. He just does too much. All right. I am going to just tank this out because I know that I can. I'm going to grab at that tower. I also got the red buff and now I'll be able to back for free. Maybe. Hopefully. You do back for free. Perfect. And now I'm just waiting on my upgraded warrior's axe. All I'm waiting on is the upgraded warrior's axe. My cooldown is going to feel really nice right now with my Chronos Pendant on. wonder if he's doing Bold Demon or not. I don't hear him, so I would assume not, but... He's got wards everywhere. Like, the, every time this guy backs, he buys two wards. So... Dude, look at that damage. What in the world? There it is, baby. There it is. I beat the Kraken, and I can just... I can take literally anything you throw at me and not even care. Actually. Anything you throw at me and not even care. I am so tanky. I heal a relatively good amount. 
Please tell me I get this. I do get it. Perfect. Is your blue up? No, that would that would be the icing on the cake though if his blue was up. Now we got fire minions going in. This is a this is a pretty generic RTO game so far. Grab a 500 pot here. Pop it. Some normal pots. Head back out. Um, he does have Kraken up because, well, I mean, he just used it, but I'm sure he has a backup. He's Poseidon, right? Uh, so he has Kraken up, but I don't have beads. I don't know if I win the fight without beads unless I preemptively juke Kraken. And then if I preemptively juke and he doesn't Kraken, we're just sad. Because that's probably a kill opportunity I'm missing. But we'll see. Look at that damage, man. 400 damage on my three. It's going to be a really hard game to end, isn't it? I'm going to have to burst him down, and I don't know if I can. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. The Kraken got a sick knockup on me under Titan. Titan did 1,600 damage to me. The Titan did almost as much as Poseidon did. Um, <clears throat> This is the only downside to not going Boomba's Hammer. Is when you make it to this hyper late game, it's much harder to finish off. The early game and the mid game is much better with Warrior's Axe, but the 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 level 20, like we're both full build buying 500 pots, like that is worse. Obviously, I mean, Boobus Hammer is crazy, so. Um, this is going to be a little bit tough. This is going to be a little bit tough. Did you do red buff? Did, all right. I gotta get his Phoenix here. I'm thinking about just blinking in and stunning him and get, getting my Polly Auto on Phoenix. Alright. That went well. Surprisingly, that went actually very well. can't catch me, right? Nice. Flasks and vials. Nice. We got his Phoenix down. And uh, we pretty much wasted his red buff there too, which is really nice. He messed up my poly auto. I'm not exactly sure how he did it, but I punched him and it didn't it didn't poly auto him. Time to that magic. Oh, that was a good one. Good one. Can't be mad at that.
There it is, baby. There it is. Using my poly auto attacks and pretty much all of my abilities on cooldown at nauseum. Like spamming everything I had. We were able to get the kill and it is going to mean that we get the win. Boy, oh boy. That's our kill, man. I mean, she is so good. Like, full disclosure, this is my first attempt. <laughs> like, it. Um, full disclosure, this is my first attempt recording audio. So that's how you know she's actually the best, uh, like, the best guardian in duel. Um,. So, let's do a little recap over what makes her better than other guardians. First off, she's a stand switcher, so Boomba's Hammer and Warrior's Axe, they're both very, very good on her. Um, secondly, she has amazing clear, very high sustain with her 3 and her 1 in human form, which makes her hard to push out of lane and means, obviously, she can farm more, can, uh, can test buffs, stuff like that. And her burst damage is second to none in terms of guardians, unless you're taking a full Yamir all to the face, which hopefully nobody ever does. <laughs> um, let me know if I missed anything. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and comment and subscribe. Uh, don't forget that if you subscribe in the year 2022, it is 10 cents to charity at the end of 2022. I will, uh, I will calculate all the amount of subs that I got during the year and donate the appropriate amount of money to... Um, a charity and yeah until next time guys peace